Good morning, my name's Michael Smith. I'm the owner of the Sun Theatre in Yarraville. Uh, the cinema opened in 1938, and it then uh, was a, it was the most luxurious cinema in the area when it opened. And in 1994, my wife and I bought the building as a wreck. They were, uh, most of the roof was caved in. The, uh, it, it was completely ruined. So it then took us a number of years to restore it. 2003, we actually, uh, put in the effort to, to, to develop the cinema completely. Uh, we were doing a lot of the work ourselves, so we, we, we fixed what was there, but we didn't have the money to recreate. But I think that gave us a really nice blend anyway. That development has been about offering more range and more choice, but also we've made a real effort to make them comfortable. And I think that's part of being a family-owned cinema, rather than looking at the cheapest way of building a cinema and how can we get as many people into a cinema. Uh, we've our new cinemas, are, you know, they're le small leather couches, are very, very comfortable, and with little tables, so there's somewhere to put your, 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 your drink, because um, every film's better with a glass of red wine. We made an effort that the, the design of each cinema is, uh, either has Art Deco features or, or a style of the Art Deco period. And I think people really respond well to that, so I, I think a warm, inviting cinema with comfortable seats is part of the reason that people come here regularly. You know, people, people are always talking about what's the threat to cinema, you know, people are always surprised that we're doing well. You know, every kitchen, sorry, every house has a kitchen, but people still go to restaurants. And I think while people have great access to content at home, there's still nothing better than a night out with your friends watching a film. Just in the last year, we've broken three personal records on our, um, on our best films. Uh, just before Christmas, The Dressmaker became our best film ever. By mid-January, Star Wars, the new Star Wars, became our best film ever. And by mid-February, it was Hateful Eight. So to think that, again, for three very, very different films, and no one ever thought that a rated R film could actually take money in Australia. So, um, yeah, I, I love that we have that diverse audience, and I think that's part of what makes it the sun. Hateful Eight was such a phenomena for us. We, I, I think like most people, I'm, I'm guessing as film students, you all love Tarantino. Is that a safe bet? Yeah, well, so do we. So, you know, when we heard that his new film was going to be available in 70, we were, we were really excited about it. When this was coming, we thought, wow, that would be such a cool thing to do. And so we, you know, we yes, we found the projector and uh, in Brian's garage in Yarraville, unbelievably. So, yeah, we saw that. And it, how can I put it? it anyway, look, it became, it's become one of the mo most amazing stories about the sun, the fact that, you know, just by doing that and Quentin hearing about the fact that we'd done it, that he wanted to come here, was pretty special. There's nothing wrong with digital by any means. It's a, it's a great way of just showing films reliably and, and you know, in good quality day after day. But when something special comes along, to see it in 70 is fabulous. I think we've really nurtured a culture of people around here who, who love films and, and love uh, storytelling and, and enjoy just coming out on a regular basis to see a film. But within a couple of years, we were really keen to clean up the front of the building. And we got a crane in and we took the, the old sun sign down, which was completely rusted out and an absolute wreck. And we put it in where the bookshop was, is now. And we spent months and months, in fact, it must have been half a year we spent restoring it. It was just something we kept going back to when we had a bit of spare time and sort of got rid of the rust and cleaned it up. And uh, when we put it back up and we got all the neons working again, and to turn it back on for the first time, uh, we waited until the Yarraville Festival and there were 3,000 people in the street waiting for that sign to be turned on. And it was one of the most special nights of my life, just to have all those people there waiting and cheering. And, you know, we, we sort of made up a thing to have this lightning bolt going up on a piece of string that someone pulled to make it uh, supposedly light. And uh, yeah, that, that was one of the best nights of my life.